Hey everybody, Justice Good here with a quick Photoshop tutorial on how to create the perfect sepia effect. And that's just my opinion on what I think the perfect sepia effect looks like. So the first thing we want to do before we mess with the colors is go to Filter, Lens Correction. And make sure none of these are checked on and go to the Custom tab. Here we're going to add a vignette. So grab your slider and set it to darken. I'm going to go all the way. Set the midpoint to about plus 75 I'd say. And accept your changes and you see a nice vignette has been added. So we can start messing with the colors now. On a new adjustment layer select black and white. Now you can just leave it as is it's not much of a difference, but if you want a little bit of fine tuning, you can try to click auto or mess with the sliders. But a neat little feature of black and white is if you click this hand over here with the slider, you should see an ink dropper come up on your picture. And for example, if I click and hold on a part of the lips that I want to make darker or brighter, the ink dropper turns into a slider, and I can just drag to the left if I want to make it darker and drag to the right if I want to make it brighter. So what I'm going to do is darken the lip tones a little bit and then I'm going to click again on a section of near the cheek and eye highlights and turn them to the right a little bit and brighten them. That's just a little fine tuning cool little tool about black and white. You can just leave it as is when it comes up or click auto and Photoshop will do it for you but the more you know the better. So now on another new adjustment layer we're going to add the curves adjustment. What we're going to do here is grab the point that represents the shadows the bottom left and drag it up a little bit until the output is at around 40. Now we're going to click a little bit further on this line and create another point and drag it down to create a little bit of a bend. And a third point we're going to drag a little bit up. So you should have a curve very similar to mine. And what this does is it turns the blacks into a gray. Because black is a very solid color and if we add any photo filters to it they won't be affected much. Gray on the other hand is affected very much by any adjustment layers you add on top of it. So this is just going to add to our sepia tone. Which we're going to add by going to a new adjustment layer and selecting photo filter this time. Make sure you have preserved luminosity checked on. And if you go to the filter drop down menu you should see sepia is a preset tone there. Now what we're going to do is turn the density all the way up and this is too strong of an effect by itself which is why we're going to blend it. If you go to your photo filter layer on your layers palette and right click you should see the second option says blending options. Here when you bring up the layer style menu you see the box there that says blend if and you have two sliders this layer and underlying layer. If you hold the option key and click on one of these sliders you can drag it and split the slider which only blends this layer if it's within these color ranges. So you want the black slider under the this layer tab to be halfway and then grab the white slider of the underlying layer tab and also pull it halfway. So this way it allows the highlights and the shadows of the original picture to come through a little bit more while still keeping that sepia tone that makes the image look great. And that's the final result. I think it's an awesome sepia effect and you can use these same filters and adjustment layers on any one of your pictures to get the same great effect. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please check out my channel for more and I'll see you next time.